what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in. This week we got another sneaker pickup. This is from Hibbit Sports. You already know what it is from the title, so no further ado, let's get into this. Hibbit Sports. This sold out on a lot of sites, or the the sizes available was, were very limited. I got lucky, and I first saw them on East Bay. But then I think they only have like a size 13 and something else left. I wish I were size 12. So I went to Hibbits and thank goodness they still had, had a 12. I got these for retail for 115. Hibbit City Gear receipt. Looks like they tore a sticker off on the box, looks like. It had something there and I tore it off. But, uh, size 12. Got the gold jump man on the lid. It's got the little gold 23s on the tissue paper. Huh. That's kind of odd. That size 12 sticker you normally would see on the insole is slapped on the side for some strange reason. It's only done that on my left shoe. I'm, not, I'm sorry, on the right shoe, not the left shoe. So I picked up the Jordan 1 Mid uh, Chicago Toe, is what um, they're calling these. I got these because it's a cheap alternative to the Chicago 1. Yes, they are mids. I know a lot of sneakerheads hate on mids. I rock highs, mids, and lows. If it's a color scheme I like, then I rock it. But the reason why I got these, once again, it's a cheap alternative to the Chicago 1. So my game plan is to customize these and change the toe box back to flat white to make these be a mid-top version of the Chicago 1. Let's check out the uh, leather quality. It's typical of uh, the Jordan 1 mids. They usually don't show them much love when they make these so it's nothing spectacular it is the hyped uh, colorway though that everybody likes once again I don't know why they slap that on the side it says they're inspected on April 1st I got these on release day I got that 12 size 12 sticker I'll probably add that back to the insole later but um, very nice I think for the price 115 there is the one difference the black bottom as everyone knows the Chicago one has the red bottom but it's gonna be on the ground anyways you're not really gonna see it I think once I uh, customize the toe box to be white from a distance no one's really gonna be able to tell that it, it's a mid especially since they stopped putting the jump man on the heel which I'm glad they stopped doing that it does have the jump man air on the tongue with a red tongue with a jump man there done in black it's got black insoles with a white jump man on it but uh other than that everything's pretty much the same as the typical jordan one chicago colorway i uh, i had a viewer wanting me to compare my 2015 jordan one chicago's to the jordan one sb um LA to Chicago's that I stripped the paint on to see what the how the, the the red differs so I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate that into this video keep from having to make a separate video so I'm gonna get all my Chicago colorway Jordans down and we'll just um, check them out for comparison probably my newest one would be the Jordan 1 Low Black Toe is the newest one in my collection. And uh, for this to be a low, the leather quality on this is better than it is on these 2020 mids. I've been waiting on these to drop for months, ever since I first saw the sneak preview that these were coming out. They never had like an official release date listed anywhere from what I could find. I just would check East Bay and other places on a daily basis until they finally popped up. So we got that. I 
And I got the Chicago one low, which the leather quality on this, I would probably compare to the leather quality on this. If it's even leather, you know, it's, uh, actually the white on these feels softer than what the white does on these Chicago toes. Then we got, this is probably the Holy Grail in my collection. The, uh, I would say this is the Holy Grail. Well, I would say the Jordan 1 Royal is my overall Holy Grail since it was the first Jordan I ever got. I got back in 85, but red and black is my favorite color. This is probably the most expensive shoe in my collection. It's still dead stock, as you see. I'm not going to wear it because I don't want to decrease the value. Last time I checked, these were going for like around 900 in my size 12. But uh, I wanted to double up on these, but they're way too expensive. So I originally had got the, um, the LA Chicago SBs that you remove the paint on. And I guess the red looks a little more orange. On, on this, once again, this is the LA to Chicago, and this is the original 2015 OG Chicago. So um, I do plan on putting leather conditioner on here. I don't know if it will change the color of the red, if it will make it closer to um, the 2015 version or not. So I originally got these as my alternative to this, but even these I had to spend, I think, right around 300 to get these. And I ended up doubling up and got a pair um to keep in the purple and yellow colorway which those have jumped up since the passing of kobe bryant then we got the uh 2003 jordan one patent leather so that's all my chicago colorway uh jordans in my collection so this is the 2015 og this is the uh Jordan 1 SB LA Chicago. This is the 2003 uh, Jordan 1 patent leather, which is this is a mid, as well as this is the 2020 Jordan 1 Chicago toe, which it won't be a Chicago toe much longer once I get it customized. I'll have a video for that, so be on the lookout for that. Then I got the Jordan 1 Chicago low, then the Jordan 1 um black toe low so that's all of my chicago colorway shoes hope everybody out there staying safe protecting yourself from the coronavirus hope everybody enjoyed today's video please give a big thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already transit limited merch in the description until next time it's your boy infamous c the atl don sign out peace Just trim my claim to fame Mafioso be the clip Let's go to